This is going to be a brief video about how to measure the size of the Earth. It was first done by a guy called Eratosthenes. He came up with a pretty accurate measurement for the circumference of the Earth, and I think it was within 2% of the actual size. So it was a pretty decent measurement for the time, especially. And this is basically how it was done. This point here might be the Tropic of Cancer, which is on the summer solstice, the sun shines directly overhead. You can see this blue line to pole, and the sun is shining directly overhead, so the, the arrow goes down the same direction as the vertical pole. If we go a little bit further north, the sun's going to be at a different angle to the pole, which I've called theta. So it's going to be low in the sky, at noon on the summer solstice, when, when it's directly overhead at the summer solstice. Um, Tropic of Cancer. So it's going to be a little bit lower in the sky further north with an angle of theta to the pole. So there's going to be a shadow cast here. You can see that the sun's rays can't get to this, uh, so it can't get to here. So, so this, this length of shadow is cast. Obviously, this diagram is considerably exaggerated. Um, I've had to do that to make it clear. Um, but the shadow obviously um, obviously is tangential to the, to the Earth, so this is going to be a right angle. Uh, but this diagram's a little bit extreme. So that's the length of the shadow. Um, it's quite easy to me measure this angle theta. Um, if you know a bit of basic trigonometry, since this is a right angle triangle, we know that the tangent of theta is equal to s over l, so the length of the shadow divided by the length of the pole, here. This is going to be theta. So we can, use, we can take the arc tan of the shadow length over the length of the pole to find this angle theta, and this is the angle between the sun's rays and the vertical, i.e. the direction of the pole. And the reason that we can use this as a reference is because um, at the Tropic of Cancer is because the, the sun's shining directly overhead, so that's quite useful. So we can say that that the angle theta here is going to be the same as the angle theta here, obviously, because um, this is between the same two lines, and it's the same, and it's the acute angle. Obviously, this line's parallel to this line, the sun's rays. So this, these two angles are the same, and this angle is also going to be the same as this angle because at the Tropic of Cancer. Um, at noon on the summer solstice, the sun's rays are shining vertically, the same as the direction of the pole. So we're going to get theta here. So this is what Eratosthenes did. There was a place here on the Tropic of Cancer called Cyrene, which it may, it's not exactly on the Tropic of Cancer, but um, the story goes that you could look down a well in Cyrene and there wouldn't be a shadow at the bottom of the well at noon on the summer solstice. So it was pretty close to the Tropic of Cancer. And then this was Alexandria, which was further north in Egypt. And this distance here was known. And since this distance here was known, you could use the shadow that we've calculated that we could you could use the shadow length to calculate theta. And since you know this distance here, you could calculate the entire circumference of the Earth. Because obviously, you could just in degrees, you can take 360 degrees divided by the number of degrees that you have here. So a full circle is obviously 360 degrees. So this is the proportion of the entire circle here. And then multiply it by d. So you multiply this up by the fraction that this, the that this theta is of the entire circle to get the full circumference of the Earth, i.e. 360 divided by theta in degrees multiplied by d. This is how you can measure the circumference of the Earth. Like I said, Eratosthenes first did this in about 200 BC and he came up with an incredibly accurate measurement. So this is how it might be done. And, it can, and, and you can do that. You don't have to use Tropic of Cancer to, 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 um, as a measurement where you take this D. You can do it at other places as well. But then you'd, have to be, then you'd have to measure two shadows and two angles and it would be a little bit more complicated. So Tropic of Cancer is a very good place to do it. So the important thing is that this distance has to be known. And then you can work out the circumference by doing 360 divided by this angle, multiplied by d. Say, for example, if this if this was if this was um, one two hundredth of of 360 degrees, you multiply 200 by d, and you get the entire circumference of the Earth. And this was roughly how it was done. Although I don't think I don't think it, that number that I just used was necessarily correct. Okay, so that's that's basically how it's done. How to calculate the circumference of the Earth and how it was done by Eratosthenes.